Mondays, guys. I'm Romina Bianca Ladello, and it is 2018 finally, finally here. 2017 was such a long year, but it seemed like it flew past like there was no tomorrow. Where did it go? Nobody knows. The months <laughs> that I did not even see happening were definitely August November. and November. I swear those months did not happen this year. Let's hope that 2018 slows down a little bit because I can't deal. It's like way too fast for me. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this makeup look in this video. It is a New Year's Eve makeup look, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys go look at the Monster Renity shop. Please go do it because this is like the cutest top to wear. Do it. I'm gonna stop delaying the intro of this video. Let's get right into it and cue intro. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse. I'm going to be doing a look inspired a little bit by Selena Gomez where it's a nude lip and a very beautiful smoky eye. First things first, I'm going to put these eye patches, they are half moon circles, and I'm going to put these on my eyes. First things first, I wanted to try out a new NYX palette. I received this one as a gift and then also I received this one, the Love Contours All. I'm not going to prime the eye or anything, we're just going to kind of leave it the way it is and I'm going to start off by using some warm tones first and then we're gonna go straight into using darker tones using this color right over here this nice like brownie from the NYX love contours all palette this one over here and I'm gonna mix that a little bit with this tone over there keeping it on the outer edges and then just kind of creating that crease so nice and warm and this we're kind of just packing it lower down anyway guys so I wanted to tell you about my my drama it's really nerve-wracking actually talking about it on my channel but you know what I just I just guts too because I don't understand why people are like this okay hi ex right I made a, a video about it actually last year sometime I was like how to get over your ex you know because I needed help getting over it myself and I was like what what can I do to help others get over their exes and I was like well this is what I'm doing and like it's helping that's what I did I wanted to just explain to y'all okay then what happened to me so <laughs> the other day, I'm busy gymming. Guess who I see in the gym? My gym, by the way. Like, the one that's 2Ks up from where I stay. Yeah, like, he was there with his new girlfriend. The one that he was cheating on me with when we were together. Which was like, I'm like, it, I just, I don't understand. You're gonna bring your new girl to my gym when you cheated on me with her. But she thought that she was main hoe, but she was actually side hoe. And I, you, you know, I just, I don't get that. <laughs> Why come into my space and like, you know, so anyway, I just needed to just get this off my chest Like why do people do this anyway? I'm gonna go in with the dream catcher palette and I'm gonna use the black color So I'm busy gemming and I see this guy and I'm like that looks like my ex, you know And I'm I'm very peaceful and calm and everything and I'm just like, okay, this is chill If he's gemming here, he's probably like here with some friends or something because they probably gym at my gym and you know how it is. Everyone just gyms at the same gym. But he stays so far away from where I, where my gym is. So for him to come and gym at the gym by my house, it's like he has to go so far out of his way because there's one so much closer to where he stays. I'm like, why, why are you here? Like in my mind, because I'm not going to go up to him and be like, what you doing here, mate? Then I see him with the girl that he was cheating on me with the entire year. And I was like, well, that's nice. So you guys are actually made it official. You're coming into public spaces together. You know, you guys are, are um, I don't know how else to explain this. You guys are a thing, okay, that's cool. But then why did you have to come to my space, my gym, to, you know, say, make it official? Why don't you just go wherever? Like, I really don't care. I was broken up with you ages ago. I really don't care about you. I feel like just just always need to claim their territory but for what reason like i really don't even want this man like he's barely even a man in my eyes i'm like he's a disgusting piece of specimen i'm gonna let it go now it's 2018 and we're gonna leave all this bullshit in the past okay i'm not gonna deal with 30 year old babies that don't know what they want with their lives okay we're gonna use the dream catcher palette again but this time we're gonna use the sparky color over here so guys if any guy gives you trouble this year just just leave him back in 2017 be like listen it's not happening okay and that's what i'm gonna do man children can stay in uh, 2017 and i'm doing me this year let's just remember that every day so i don't give in to temptations because you know what they say i really actually know what they say <laughs> 
Anyways, I'm gonna be placing the sparkly color. Right. Guys, this is really dark actually, hey? Ooh, I'm making this a really dark look. This is not Selena Gomez at all, fam. Mm, whatever. I'm doing me. Why? Is this not shiny enough? This is like not what I wanted at all on this eye. I wanted it to be more like sparkly and it's not. Like the sparkle just kind of flies off. It's like, no, sorry, I'm not gonna sparkle for you today. I did want to say, whoo, let's pick up the energy. I'm back in the gym, guys. I did hurt my ankle in the last year and now I'm like killing it in the gym and that's why, you know, I had to tell you guys my story about who I sold it. 2018, you know, you have to plan things. Let me show you guys how to plan your 2018. Giant calendar, mini typo calendar. And then I also have this diary. And then I got a mini one. Can't resist a diary with stickers. Dream journal, also from typo. If y'all don't know what a dream journal is, listen to the Happy Women's Podcast. They tell you guys exactly what to do with one of these. And so we're back. I'm just gonna add a little bit more sparkle because you know like I can't deal with that lack of sparkle. I'm gonna use this color over here and hopefully it lightens it up a little bit and like adds that sparkle that I'm looking for. Nothing. Nada. Seriously friend, why are you lacking? Like that is not what I'm, I'm, I'm like expecting BAM. Anyways, I feel like this palette is disappointing me. Like very much. Anyway, let's try and make it work guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my blooper video that I posted last week. It was so much fun guys. 2017 has been an insane year. Like honestly, I can't even deal. It's been wild. I'm gonna highlight the bridge of the brow using the Love Contours Oil. And we're gonna use this color over here. Ooh, shiny. I look like a raccoon. Like, do I look raccoon <laughs> I'm gonna use Muna's Blue Eyeshadow from MAC because I really want that blue and it is so pretty. So we're gonna use this color instead of trying to pack on that other one from the Inmates palette because it wasn't working. It was, we're not doing what I wanted. How extra do I look right now? <laughs> just, just a little bit extra. I'm gonna be using the Love Contours All Brow Tones and I'm going to go in with a bit of both of these. Oh, that's not bad. I don't usually use eye eyeshadows. Yeah, mixing the two colors really does work, especially for blonde. It's gonna be my new favorite. Okay. Oh, those are so dark though. So I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Golden Beige in 170 foundation in the stick form and then I'm going to use the Revlon Colorstay Concealer. This is in the medium. The best podcasts to listen to, I must say, are I listen to Hardwell on Air, Tiesto, Timmy Trumpet, okay? His one is called Freak Show. It is so good. That one in the gym especially, it is like literally my favorite thing. It is so good. I also listen to Tiger Lily's podcast. It is called Team Tiger. She is an Australian DJ and she is honestly, oh, dude, if you don't follow on Instagram, do that right now. She does all these fitness things as well. She's an Adidas brand ambassador and she's oh, she's so gorgeous. She's just like so healthy and she also makes such amazing music. She came out with a song called Ashes the other day. It's so good. Then I also listen to Vala Cast. That is, <laughs> this one is really cool. They actually featured a South African DJ, Kyle Watson, on their September podcast. Then I also listen to Bonka, which is by Bonkers. And then that's like the best. It's proper Malibu balanced music. Isaac's hard style sessions. Ooh, those are so big. Those are like amazing. Hard style is the best thing to listen to if you're doing spinning. It is the best for cardio sessions. Hard style music. And then I also just have hard style team podcast, but they haven't released anything new. But you can still check them out if you want to. Gareth Emery's podcast, Afrojack's podcast, do it. It is so good, especially his live sets when he does them. They're amazing. I listen to Steve Aoki's podcast as well. It's called Aoki's House. That one's got a lot of cool new music and he promotes a lot of new stuff from his Demac Record label, which is really nice if you want to see what's new in the industry and all of that, especially when it comes to like trap and that sort of thing. And also when he played his latest album, I was like, oh damn, son. I would not have known about his new album if I was not listening to his podcast. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Also, Spinning Records has a podcast and theirs is so good. Oh my word, I listen to that as well. Guys, just a lot of new music. Armin van Buren's podcast also, they're not that long, but they're worth it. Especially if you want to just see what's happening, what's new, just for quick little sessions. And then group therapy, obviously you need to listen to above and beyond. They're about two hour long sessions, which is really nice, especially if you're chilling with a bunch of friends and like, you know, you want to like chill. I'm just gonna blend in the foundation with the L'Oreal Revitalift. And this is really cool, you know, because then you've got to put it on the drop and you just do, 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 do. Cool. 
the business ones that I listened to, oh, they were amazing. I listened to Tony Robbins podcast. Then also with Building a Story Brand podcast also. It's so good. And yeah, so if you guys want to know how to, you know, stay on trend, stay on track with what's happening in every industry, I feel like those are the best ones to listen to. And then the Vibrant Happy Women's podcast. <laughs> this is super cute. I have so many different ways of how I'm gonna mom <laughs> in the future. So those are my favorite podcasts to listen to. If you want to try something out like that, do it. They have saved my life. My other favorite one to listen to, last but not least, is the Hay House Meditation podcast. <laughs> I went so deep with these eyebrows. Selena Gomez would not be proud right now. I'm gonna go in with this dark grey colour here from the Love Contours All palette. I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes. So I'm taking that colour and I'm just really trying to make this as smoky as possible. Raccoon Romina, here we come. Whoa, Denise. I'm gonna use the NC30 MAC Fix Plus powder. And I'm just gonna use this all over my face because you know what, it's a face beat today. For New Year's Eve makeup looks, it's always nice to go like really heavy, really dark, really dramatic. Do you know why? Do you wanna know why? A boy is gonna kiss you whether you've got like tons of makeup on or not because you have to, it's New Year's Eve. But we're still gonna keep it with a nude look. So we're gonna use the Vivid Matte Liquid Color from Maybelline. This is in the shade Nude Thrill. Do you wanna know why? They say Nude Thrill? Because on New Year's Eve, you want to go nude. You want to do things you've never done before. You want to go crazy, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna get an early night on New Year's, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna use this NYX liner which is in black just in my waterline just to make sure that my eyes are super super you know if y'all cry easily like i do i would suggest using waterproof mascara now the mascara that i am going to use i'm going to be using the wonderful mascara from rimmel oh but guys i had such a nice holiday hey mm. went to the drakensberg with the fan dam and it's always so nice because every year that we go we kind of know the same like we kind of go around the same time of year and then similar people are there at the same resort and all that so it's like seeing family that you haven't seen in a while so to all my homies that I saw this year, it was amazing. We had so much of fun. Like 2018, I'm not touching alcohol. If anybody sees me with a drink in my hand in 2018, please like knock it out of my hands. I don't want to drink. As a weight thing, like you get so chubby from alcohol, guys. Like alcohol is not your friend. Alcohol is that friend that you have that's like, like you look so beautiful. And then you're like, really? Do you like my hair? Is it is it okay? And then and then the friend is like, yeah, yeah, babe, it looks so great. You're gonna get so many guys tonight. It's like the friend that isn't honest with you. So alcohol is not your friend. Moving on to highlighter, which is your friend. I'm going in with a more yellow tone as my highlight today. No, me, no, I can't. It's so pretty. Now I'm just going to contour with a fluffy angle brush and I'm going to use the nice this one. Okay, I want to be nice and brown. Uh, that's not bad at all. I'm just going to set the look with the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. Okay, let's go. Woo! Oh guys, that looks so pretty wet. Oh my soul, look at that, honey. I'm going to be using the Wicked NYX Lashes and these are in the tins. It is like the sound in the background is thunder. I actually like this packaging. It's a little different to what I'm used to. And guys, I'm just really sad that there's no light because it's still like only four o'clock. Yesterday was such good weather. Even this morning, guys, I was like so shook. I was shooken. Sugar. It was such good weather. Oh, huh. these are pretty. I'm literally like thinking to myself, don't poke out your eye, don't poke out your eye, don't do it again. Don't do what you usually do, Romina. They're really, really, really cute. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the other side and then I'll be right back, okay? The curse with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on the earth with my words and I put them all together in cert because I wanna have worth. Working out. And that is the completed look. If you wanna wear some masks from Renity, could sure wear. Please go shop online now. It is RominaLadolo.com slash shop. Go do it. This is probably like the cutest outfit. It is a pencil skirt with a little zip at the back and then this is a boob tube top. You can wear this with jeans, shorts, all the matching skirt and yeah, more serenity. Go do it. Money and she knows that I live lavishly. Uh, I wanna live. I'm cold and so I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup video and the little outfit that I'm wearing. Yes, yes, yes. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I it went quite glam, shabam, smoky eye, nude lip, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It doesn't really look like the Selena Gomez one. I tried though. I did try. I'm gonna be posting another video this Thursday, and it'll be a little bit of my vacation in the Drakensberg and one of my favorite spots to go. So please check it out. Don't forget to watch that when it comes out. So thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of 2018. Guys, it's gonna be a fantastic year. I love you guys so much, and here we go. Yeah.